Welcome back, adventurers, to more Misclicks D and D. So here we go. Uh, you guys have no rope, but you need rope to figure out what's down that hole, or so you think. So you want rope to figure out what's down that hole. You don't want to just jump down by a single person. Nope. You sure? I'm down. Yeah. I'm down. Head first, I mean, maybe. I guess. I don't have that jump spell to cast on you this time, Marcus. Wait, oh, no. what's going on? Jump where? Hmm. Don't worry about it. Let's go get rope. <laughs> no. Do we have lanterns? No, we don't. We probably could use that, too. Yeah, let's get a lantern and a rope. Okay. okay. So you take Miss Grisham with you and head out into town to find some lanterns and a rope. Um, you can buy rope at the local general store, which is like four blocks away. Um, silk rope is 10 gold for 50 feet, and it only weighs 8 pounds. Hemp rope is 1 gold, but it weighs 20 pounds. It's also 50 feet long. I walk, like, like in the shop. Like I look at every item, and I'm like... I'm just, like, disgustedly ignoring Arcus, pretending that it's not happening. <laughs> You're in denial. Uh, just like a mom. <laughs> uh, and then I buy the hemp rope. Okay. One gold, you said? One gold for 50 feet of hemp rope that weighs 20 pounds. Hmm. I'll get 100 feet. Mm. Two gold. All right. Done. It's a deep hole. Could be. You never know. Well, I know, obviously. Try. Well, Surprise! I'm the game master, and I'm controlling... Yeah, exactly. Didn't you've been controlling that, did you? all along? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I was actually behind the scenes in the whole first series uh -oh. <laughs> of Pirates, and you guys didn't you even know. <laughs> you were typing to Neil like everything to do every time. Yeah. You're like, nope, cannot get out with the rope trick right now, bitches. <laughs> Just this master puppet master, the whole thing has been your game from the beginning. <laughs> Alright. I so... like to think that. That would be the best long game. Oh. Anna, you have this rope now. Let's go back and find out what's in that hole. Arcus, you want to go master? hole digging? Oh, yes. Yes. Awesome. Let's go. Ooh. He's much more docile like this. I think I like it. All right. You guys head back with the rope to Mish Grisham's house. Um, you walk around the back again to find the hole with a couple of goose feathers stuck in the dirt. Mm -hmm. All right. I guess it's your time. To... I'm not sure we should send him down there. Actually. Woo! And I just jump and I forget to stick the oh, rope. Okay. It's a <laughs> tight <laughs> hole. Like, you jump, oh. put your arms above your head, and you get, like, yeah. a little bit... You get wedged partway down with your <laughs> arms still stuck out. Like, you've got your backpack on, your gear, and Arcus oh. is stuck in the hole. How far down? <laughs> That's what around here. Uh, around the... I mean, like, so he's not even all oh. the way in it? No, oh. no, like, poor, I'm like... His legs are dangling down below, but around his rib cage is caught. I'm, like, panicking. I, like, while he's panicking, I don't hate him, and I tie the rope around his waist and, like, a heart, like harness style around him. So that it attaches right here. Okay. Well, you that can't get sense. to his waist, but you can like tie it around his chest okay, so, like, and arms and stuff. Yeah. Sure. I'm like pulling the rope and I'm pulling you with it. I'm, like, ah! <laughs> I'm totally panicking. Okay. Do you guys? Are you panicking, Arcus? Well, I'm stuck. What's going on? I'm in the ground and I'm like really, really bad. <laughs> You wanted to go after the the, the magic goose, remember? The magic goose at the bottom magic. of the hole? Magic. You gotta go get the magic goose. Yes, well, well Henry went maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like ground that I can dig in, Neil? Uh, if you dig at it enough with your hands, you can start digging through it. Okay, I'm like, I started like digging. <laughs> I'm like pushing Arcus, everything. Take off your pack, Arcus. My pack? <laughs> Just take your off backpack your that you're pocket. wearing. <laughs> yeah, you've got armor on and a backpack on and weapons on you, and that's what's getting you stuck. Like, okay, I, I remove my shield. Mm -hmm. I remove my backpack. This takes like five minutes to remove the shield and backpack. <laughs> yes, I'm like, 
Okay, now what? Now go find the goose, the magic goose. Arcus is I still really stuck in the hole. Step. Yeah, I'm still stuck. I'm like, I'm like trying to jigging, jiggle, I'm like, <laughs> jiggle, 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 jiggle. You start Does to it slide. Work? A, it gets you a little bit down, yeah. a little bit down, a little bit down. Before you know it, you're uh, now you're kind of up to your armpits with your hands above your head. <laughs> you can do it, Arcus. I believe in you. <laughs> I go and push down on Arcus a little bit. I was going to say, Miss Grisham shouts, I don't want to die alone, and starts <laughs> jumping on Arcus's head to try and push him down. <laughs> I'm 65! I need this! I need my goose back! <laughs> <laughs> I guess an old woman is jumping like... up and down on your shoulders and head. <laughs> Does it work? Uh, no, you've been. You're now just like firmly lodged in the hole in the ground. Oh god! Like you're not sinking anymore. And as you like try and push down, you find yourself kind of caught. What? At what piece? Uh, like what part of my body is like in the air? <laughs> Um, at this point, the it goes up to about your arms and your chin. So your arms are like straight up in the air. And underneath, underneath is just full. From like here down is in the hole. Huh. <laughs> hey guys, bad news. I think I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm like just finally real realizing it. <laughs> I think uh, maybe we should. You should take your armor off before you try again. What do you think? Well, can you get me out first? Miss so Grisham, please, please step away from from Arcus's head. Uh, okay, dear. Sorry. Just sometimes the death anxiety gets the best of me, you know. Oh. I understand. I understand. I've not got long, you know. Are you wearing a skirt? <laughs> Was she wearing yes. a skirt and tights? Yes, I am. <laughs> yes. Oh, Arcus! <laughs> Why are you, you dirty pervert? Hit him in the head. It's a pervert. It's a my... pervert. <laughs> <laughs> when my husband to be hears about this, oh! I didn't do it. I looked at the chat, so I didn't do that. But chat said that, so I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I tried to but, uh... help. I tried to help Arcus out. Pull, pull, pull on the rope, rope and pull yeah. him back out. And advise him to take off his armor before he tries again. And I don't know if we should send him, him, though, to be honest. Like, he's well, you're a what do you mean, though. Emma? Are he's you trying to be the thing. outsider sibling again? Because you've been doing a great job at it so far. Okay. I slap him. Roll the hit. <laughs> you know what? No, don't roll the hit. He's he's too high. You you hit him. You just slap him. In the face. Whoa! And then I, and I, I, I'm like. If, if I could see you straight right now, I would totally fire a bag. But... I start doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I tried to dodge, even though he's not attacking. Are you actually attacking, Arcus? Are you... I don't know. I didn't attack. Okay. But I'm still dodging. I'm like in dodge position. <laughs> I start saying things like, it, it is said that children, siblings... Are as love's first blossom. Oh come on! In the Stop night. Stupid proverbs. Everybody knows they're bullshit. What is going on with Irv? Is Do I need to roll? Angry pants. Uh, no, not yet. Things are getting tense, but not quite there. I just like immediately right, stop and glare at her, and my hair gets a little redder, and I just kind of like stare at her like this. I start going down the hole. <laughs> Head you first take or feet rope? first? Huh? Head first or feet first? Feet first. Okay. Uh, do you, you just hop down the hole, like jump in? No, like carefully. You know when people like sit down on the pool and then they like put their tippy toes in and yeah, then yeah. they're like slowly going down the stairs. That. Yeah. Okay. You slip down the hole. It's about. Did eight you take feet the deep. rope with you? No. Nope. It's about eight feet deep. So you're what three one or six one? So you look up and you can see you know two feet above you. It's the edge of the hole. In fact, if you reach up, your hands can kind of touch the top of the surface. Okay. Um, I try to go down. You feel around down near the base, and your foot, after like kicking around, eventually finds another, like a an L shape to the hole, where it goes down, and then in towards the house, there's a tunnel. Okay, I'm trying to push myself in there. It's really awkward from this angle. You manage to eventually like sit down, 
and then like kick your legs out behind you and then like curve your back backwards and push yourself feet first through this hole and eventually yeah, your feet are like pushing against this um something something hard um and you manage to like wiggle and push and worm your way through and eventually you come out in the basement of miss uh grisham's house but you're covered in dirt hmm oh man um where are I, you can i read perception check <laughs> sure give me another perception check let me verify my perception oops 11 i thought it was 13. oh ah well oh, d20 plus 11 26. Cool. You look about now and you absolutely see the hole that you crawled through. Um, and you see that you've there's some dirt on the ground. Um, fairly large clumps of dirt where you are right now. Where you're standing like uh, at your feet. Um, so other than that, it's still pretty much just the basement as before. Yeah. I reply, as if you actually cared. I'm the whatever sister i don't remember what you that's said earlier but that's I'm it to play the victim you're being mean no you're being an idiot you guys are both being mean as they're arguing i just start looking around for other clues if there's tracks away from the um hole or any other feathers or footprints or anything <laughs> on the outside yeah, like leading away from the hole because she said she's in the basement, didn't she? Yeah, uh, this area is all kind of grassy up here. You see some, there's a, a little bit of dirt on the su surface kind of around the hole that looks like, you know, just dirt from the hole, but not enough to actually be the dirt. Like, there's dirt near the hole as if someone has recently dug it, but there is not enough dirt to have been the entirety of the hole put around you. So someone has hauled the dirt away, apparently. Mm hmm. I don't see any of the other, like, I, you know, walk a grid away and see if I see any tracks or anything. I don't see anything. No. Looking around, you don't see any tracks. Yeah, Neil, you're pulling <laughs> yeah I, I know. I realized it too late. I fixed it. <laughs> All right. So I guess I'm going to try to crawl back out of the hole the way I came in. You could go around. I know, but I'm still trying to come back that way. Don't hurt yourself, dearie! <laughs> Fuck, I had to say something. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, what am I doing at this time? Am I just sort uh, you're of... You're standing around the hole with everyone else. Okay. Alright. It seems we've come to some sort of... boring lull in our lives where we don't know what to do. Well, and we can find no clues, so we must find more somewhere. You gotta use your brains, guys. This is a the quest for the missing goose is a difficult quest indeed. I come I... out of the hole. Do you you yeah. crawl back through the hole? Yeah, I try to come back the same way I came in. Yeah, you can make it out the same way that you came in. All right, so I come back out, and I'm like, nope, nope. Emma, you're Hold covered in dirt. Basement. Emma yeah. is filthy. Are we sure it's the same basement? Yes. There Maybe was the... it's a magical basement that looks exactly like the same basement that we saw earlier. Nope, that was the same basement. Oh, this one's a smart one, this I one. No, Out sister. of the box. <laughs> Why don't we go ask the townspeople if they've seen a goose? Do you have any person that knows about this magical goose, Miss Grisham? Um... Not really. I mean, here is a present from my from my. Oh, did you know I have a um, I, I have a. I'm to be wed soon, actually. Um, and um, Lord Henry Dalton gave me him as a present. Um, he'd be most offended if he returns and he's not back there. So we must find him. I don't know where he could have gone. Um, does anyone want a cup of tea? Anybody? Or, <laughs> or tea, more tea. I think we've had enough tea for today. Um, so nobody else knows about the goose? No, not to my, my knowledge, no, no. Did you let the goose out? 
I you absolutely let not. Let goose no. out. Goose. Mm. Oh, he would always say, please, Miss Christian, let me go out. And I would say, no, you have to stay. Hey, we'll be back soon. What if the goose actually escaped on its own? Oh, my, I'd be very sad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be Is sad, Miss Christian. I like, I like to hurt her. Don't be sad. We'll oh. find your goose. Oh, I do hope so. Do you have any I don't friends? think I can find another suitor now. I've been waiting for Henry for over 40 years. He'll be back I'm any afraid. day. <laughs> You've been waiting for 40 years for him to come back? Yes, yes, yes. yes. He went off. Um, he had to go do some business in another town. It must be a very long negotiation because it's, it's been a very long time. But I've been looking after the goose. So um, all is well as long as we get him back. We, um, <laughs> maybe we should ask Lord Henry Dahl. Dalton, 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 about the goose. Oh no, he's very busy. He's he's on a business trip. I, I don't, I wouldn't even know where to find him. Hmm. But I do need my goose back. All right. Well, I suggest we go ask around townspeople. Okay. So sure. oh, I hope he has. There are. I hope he hasn't gone to the butchers or something. Oh gosh, what we have something terrible that's to happen to to Gussie. <laughs> Oh, heaven forbid! <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure we'll find him. So this neighborhood has some larger houses. They're not, you know, mansions, but they are the... This is kind of the nicer area of town. Not the, not the super nice, but merchants, um, smaller lords would live here. Uh, this is a large city. There's, you know, so there's quite a few nobility about. Um, where would you like to begin your search? I guess like the way you would look for a lost dog where you kind of like go around that block and then further and then further and whoever you run into, you ask them if you've seen a dog and or a goose and then you're yelling, goosey, goosey. I'm like shaking the the um, cookies that he told that goosey liked. Like oh, the, yeah. whatever cookies they were. The like, yeah. Like shaking them together like goosey, goosey, goosey. Goosey. Okay. Um, if you guys look at the map, we are drawing the house. This is MG's house, Miss Grisham's house. Yeah, that little circular hole-like thing in the back is the hole through which you've crawled. Um, let's fill it in a little bit more. Um... This is the end of the street here. So there is another house. Um, I think it's not showing for us in Roll20, Neil. I think we still have the mountains and the ocean. How about now? <coughs> yeah. I don't, because people are funny. Hello? What? Try, the, too low. No, try, the, low. try the eye pitch voice with that. <laughs> <laughs> is this any better? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they talk louder when I miss Christian. She's very loud, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine right now. But when you speak normal, we can't hear shit. So I I used to be an opera singer, and I have very large lungs for my body. You see, and <laughs> you <laughs> see. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So what's what is that? Uh, I'm drawing the different houses in this neighborhood. So there's Miss Grisham's house. Uh, down the way, because this is Wheat Street, remember, there are many houses on Wheat Street. Um, but they're all kind of nicer, larger houses. Um, mm -hmm. Just to get a what local did, lay of the land. What did you do for a living, Miss Grisham? Oh, not much, really. I just sort of stay in my house and drink my med med medicinal teas. Um, when I was a young gal, I used to work on the vegetable stand in the market, selling carrots. But um, one day this other fellow came along and sold carrots for one penny less than me, and I was out of business within a week. Um, so no more carrots from from Miss Old Grisham, unfortunately. No, no. Is that when you became an opera singer? Um, well, um, was I an opera singer? I don't remember. Was I? Just, I could be. I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> what were we talking about again? Uh, we were talking about the goose. Can you tell us more oh, about him? Yes, yes, yes. Um, so, um, 
I'm engaged. Did you know I'm engaged to a, a man, uh, Lord Henry Dalton, and he, he left me a goose and said he'd be off on his travels to do some business, but he'd be right back to marry me. And um, I was entrusted with that goose, and he's been living with me ever since. But unfortunately, um, he's gone missing recently. I don't know where he's gone. I oh. do hope he's all right, though. Oh, I hope so, too. Is the goose friendly? Oh, he's my best friend. He's... He's a lovely old, old goosey chap he is. All right, so now that we have the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, well, at least the the street for now. Um, this is Wheat. Wheat. DJ Wheat. DJ Wheat DJ Street, Wheat. and this is Saturday Street. In yellow, Neil? Really? Is that too hard to read? It's okay. It's because my brain is so high. Right here. Sat Street. Pro Gamer Probs. Uh huh. Um. There you go. What do you? What would you guys like to do? Let's go to this house and ask if they've seen a goose. All right. You guys walk down the street and come up to the house, and uh, a manservant answers the door. He's dressed very nicely, has a bow tie on, and says slowly. May I help you, my lady? I deeply curtsy. Thank you, sir. We are in search of a lost pet goose. Have mm -hmm. you happened to see a goose? Or know of anyone in the house who might have? We keep no goose on the premises, ma'am. I'm not asking if you keep geese. I'm sorry if I was unclear. I'm actually asking if you've seen a goose that was not yours nearby. This is not the sort of neighborhood where you would find geese wandering about. If you're looking for loose geese, perhaps you should check down by the... What, what city are you? Perhaps you should check down by the harbor. This is a so you civilized seen... neighborhood over here. No. I have not seen any loose geese about. Then I thank you for your time. Good day. Good day. <laughs> he quietly shuts the door. What's a geese? It's many goose. <laughs> I guess I just rinse and repeat doing that. Uh, yeah, we can do it on the next. Yeah. Yeah, but I feel like maybe we should go towards the whole direction. Oh yeah, you're right. I mean, they could have gone in any, but most likely it's in the direction they're coming from, right? That's probably true. Sure, I'll follow you. You take the lead. All right. Let's go check out this house. Okay. On Saturday Street. Yeah, you guys cross over, um, cross some greens to the house over here and give a, a rap on the door. And a kind of a, a portly young man and comes to the door. Kind of a, well, portly. I think it's the perfect portly? word for Portly. That. Oh. Can it not? I mean, you know, he's big around. Okay. Um, yeah, he uh, opens the door and says, oh, what are you guys doing here? Who the hell Hi. are you? We're a family, and that's Grandma, and we're looking for oh, our Miss Grisham. Goose. Yeah. Hello there. Hello. Yes, I'm Miss uh, Grisham. I'm to be married, you know. Did you know? <laughs> you would recognize this man, Miss Grisham, as uh, Mr. Waits. He lives that he owns the house behind yours, and uh, occasionally over the past few years, you've had you know a, a scuffle about oh no this is on my property no 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 the cherry tree is on my property blah 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 but you know you guys have gotten over it all um, the cherry tree got cut down in the end um, but you know he's a, a staple of the neighborhood. Have you seen a goose? You know I heard some what? weird noises coming from outside last night. It sounded like a goose. Don't often have many geese in this neighborhood, but I thought I heard something out, out back about a goose last night. Do you hear that, Miss Gresham? He heard goosey. Oh, was it a magic goose? Did you did you know that my that my husband to be left me a magic goose, and he'll be returning soon to marry me? I must find him. <laughs> of course, of course. We all just kind of stare at her like, uh. Would anybody like a cup of tea? <laughs> <laughs> 
Mr. Me! Wade says, yes, Me! of course. Would, in fact, could you make me a cup of tea, too? We'll be over in just a minute. <coughs> All right, then. I'll just head off back to the house and make some more medicinal tea for everybody. <laughs> well, we have a quest to look for this goose here. I feel like this is not time to drink tea. Mr. Waite says, no, 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 it's fine. Go go make us some tea. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to these people about what I heard. Come on in, the three of you. He motions okay. the three of you inside of his house while Walking. Grisham goes back to make more tea. Yeah. He uh, takes you just around his uh, dining room table and says, sits you down and says, um, sorry for the trouble. I hope you know that that woman's quite mad. You her, don't say. Her husband left her at the altar uh, 40 years ago or something like that. Just completely left. Never showed back up. She is probably no goose. What a sad well, deal. You just said you heard goose noises, though. Well, I, I did hear goose noises last night, but I, I doubt she has a magic talking goose. I mean, have you seen any evidence of this goose whatsoever? Have yeah. you not seen any evidence of this? <laughs> 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 I couldn't repeat it perfectly. <laughs> so it just, I, I just I improvised. <laughs> Quite accurate. Yeah. We've seen feathers, and we believe there to be the existence of a goose. And even if the goose is not magical, we think it's certainly the right thing to do to return it to Miss Grisham. All right. It's her best friend. I mean, if you've actually seen evidence of the goose, then... I guess I don't know what I'm talking about, but you know, the, just so you know what's going on here. She, her husband's not coming back. He, he, he left her. That's sad. Well, happens to people sometimes. Anyway, thought, I thought I should let you guys know what's going on before you get buried too deep in this. Can you tell us anything more about the noises you heard or anything about what you think may have happened to the well, goose? I heard kind of heard? a <laughs> noise coming from outside last night. In what direction did it seem to be moving? Did you hear it? I just heard it quack a few times. Uh, only twice. I didn't really catch any direction with it. it sounded like it was behind my <laughs> house, though. Hmm. So I guess we should go towards that direction. Sure. Okay, thank you for your help, Mr. Uh, Waits. Waits. Thank you for your help. Thank you. It lets you guys out. And, uh, As we walk. Were... Yeah, and I'm like, her goose might not be magical. But even if it isn't magical, we still should return it to her. It's what the gods would want. Is it really, though? The gods. I mean, we should do it. Out of the t kindness of our hearts, but I doubt the, go the gods actually care about this. Something just tells me that Miss Grisham is important, and we probably shouldn't just cut and run. I'm not saying we should leave her, the poor old lady. <laughs> just say, warning you that I don't think this goose is going to be magical. Maybe At if this I point, detect. You get back to the front door. If we sleep, maybe I could detect magic on the feathers to know if it's actually magical. We could do that. But does it really matter if it's magical? I guess not. It okay. is said, what is magic to one may not be the same magic to another. But it is magic all the same. Mm -hmm. sure. For magic <laughs> is love. Sure, sister. Sure. I get in and I'm like, Miss Grisham, what did you talk about with the goose all this time? Oh, we would, um, we would watch EastEnders and Coronation Street together and drink tea and eat Jaffa cakes. Um, well, he would always have the digestive because he, he loves those McVitie's digestive biscuits. I can't handle those personally. They give me, they give me terrible gas, you know, but, um, no, we used to eat those and, um, or we'd watch, um, what was that show? Um, uh, the one, the dancing with... The celebrities come together and they dance on the... On the We're just looking at her like none of these words make sense at all. Um, <laughs> Wait, did I um, clear with you, come die with Parv, me? that this is like a, a medieval <laughs> fantasy setting? Not modern? Did I, did uh, I make yes, that but um, I have a magic television. Okay. <laughs> me, me all, all my favorite uh, romantic comedies and soap operas. <laughs> 
I'm like, that sounds legendary. Oh, there was something that Goose mentioned. He would always talk about his family. And I said, you don't have a family, Goosey. You're just... You're just a goose, stupid goose. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd send him back down to the basement and only feed him green for the rest of the day. <laughs> Where did he say his family was? Oh, I don't know. He said something about being lo- a local goose, but oh, no, but what am I to know? I mean, he, he was given to me as a present. He belongs to me and Lord Henry Dalton. I thought as much. I've heard that Lord Henry Dalton is sweet on you and gave you this goose and that he's coming back and that you need to have the goose before he comes back. Oh, yes, yes. We're, we're to be married, you know. Did you know? We're, we're to be married. <laughs> yeah, I've heard of that. <laughs> yes, yes. I've, I've heard about it quite a few times. Yes, yes. It's, um, it's very much the talk of the town at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like it. I agree. As, well, the, uh, as the discussion is going on, I'm pouring myself some more tea. <laughs> All right, let's go see. I swat his hand while he's pouring the tea, like absentmindedly, just swat. What does swat mean? Like, like you're pouring, and I just go to make you. Lo- I continue. I continue. And look at you. I continue. <laughs> and I just keep swatting you like this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Miss Grisham, we're we're going to go look for your goose some more. Would you like to come with us, or would you like to stay here? Uh, well, um, I've got my. My skybox is going to be recording my, my, my soap opera so I can come out and catch up on them later. <laughs> um, I've also I've got my smartphone so I can watch them on the fly as well if we need to. <laughs> you speak of strange lands and inventions of which we are not familiar. Oh, you'll understand one, one day when you're engaged to a lord. <laughs> <laughs> it is knowledge that is great and, and fearful.